Hey, it's Leanne Jago here again for Art and Soul Studio. Today I'm showing you my take on the challenge, the February challenge mood board. Um, it's called Music. So to start off, I actually did a gel print um, using a few different products there. I'll go through the products names and, and a few um, material lists will be down the bottom. Okay, so I'll just let you watch through what I'm doing. Um, with the gel print, I'm actually making a couple of different backgrounds um, and then I'll decide which at the end which one I use. So I'm using some Dina Wakely heavy body medium um, in the elephant and black and in the just the acrylic um, I'm using a colour called Cheddar which is actually my take on the mood board yellowy colour. Um, I'm using some Duravent acrylic in the titanium white um, some Deco Art Fluid Acrylic in the Quinacridone Burnt Orange. Uh, and then I'm actually using some Distress Oxides. Just giving it a go to see what I think. So I've got Antique Linen and Peeled Paint. And in the Distressed Ink, I've got Wild Honey. Um, so you saw just before I was just adding up some stencils. It is about stencils for use for um, using your stencils in this product um, project. So I'm just sort of having to go with stencils on the jelly print as well. Um, actually really like how a couple of these end up um, so I've used one in this project and then I've got another one sitting there that I, I really really love so I'm going to use it again um, so you can see I sort of made some mistakes I'm still learning the gel print um, it is a process so yeah um, I, I enjoy it and I think it's a great way to when you when you're not sure really sure where you're going to start off with so that looks like mud pretty much to say but it ends up looking really good around the outside so you know it's all about playing and learning I think um as I said I'm just new with it still so and I love that print on that one that actually turned out really well on just a just a piece of baking paper just to clean it off And rolling through some stencils as well. I really love that big stencil. It's the Carabelle Studio stencil and it's it's a great size. So here we go, starting off the project. So this is the background that I decided to use. Um, I'm going to use a Jane Davenport collage papers, um, the little girl there in the middle. Um, I knew I wanted a figure. I'm taking from the mood board. There is a figure in there as well. So. Um, all the mood boards that I've I've used so far on this Soul um, with Art and Soul Studios and their Soul Sisters, I've actually created um, probably inspirational pieces, I suppose you'd like to say, where I have included a figure of some sort. Um, sometimes they're a bit more abstract than others. So here I am just adding some note paper, music note paper that there is some um, of the gel print in the background as well just randomly adding it just using some golden matte medium um, for that one and some masking tape and then I'm going to add some Liquitex I love li the Liquitex modeling paste or flexible modeling medium that one is just through a Carabelle Studio stencil and then I'm actually I really really like this product. I've never used crackle paste until a month or so ago. Now I love it. So that was just some crackle paste. I've just added some random swipes there. Okay, just knitting up the edges now. I'm trying to figure out where I wanted to go from there, but I thought there was too much of this um, print in the background, so I just ripped bits off. And you'll see here a bit of the background come off too, but you know we can fix that later on. I was kind of a little disappointed in myself at the end product um, because I'd lost all that wonderful gel print that I'd worked hard for at the start. But, you know, it's a process, so we'll just go from there. So right now I'm just using one of the brand new um, stencils that are in store, the Brutus Munro stencil. It's a, a chevron, just with um, the Foggy Nights um, ink and just sort of dabbling through the stencil. That stencil is really, really cool. So, And then this one, just using some Wild Honey. It's just a TCW stencil. You can't actually see a lot of this in the end, but um, 
I think we all know when we're doing a mixed media piece there's a lot of layers and sometimes you lose what you've done and sometimes it stays there so I think it's all about learning and having fun and, and just the release of creating something for me it's a therapy where I can just sit down and just go with it as I said I was really stumped with this idea I didn't know where I was going that's why I started with a jelly print beforehand now I'll just swipe some of that kudakodome um, orange and then just getting out some gesso it looked a bit muddy um, muddled I suppose so just swiping some gesso it's one of my favorite things to do I do it nearly every time as well and then I'm just getting out some of these the um, distressed oxides um, and then just adding a little bit of water and just doing some flicks again just building up the background adding some more color where I thought there might have been color just drying it off okay now I'm thinking it needed something else um, I was going to try and just focus on stencils and use stencils only but I needed some stamping so just using and getting picking the butterfly out of the mood board so I really like this butterfly but there is a key attached to it so I'm just holding the key out um, and then going from there it's an um, stamp enders one so it's actually pretty cool again with some more stamping Caravel Studio stamp I'm just using the stays on black at the moment I thought it was too black so I'm adding some colour I know I didn't clean the stamp before I used that oxide ink but you know and then I kind of lost direction about where I needed to go so it was about this point where I just had no idea so then I just got out my Stabilo in the Marks All in the black and just put my border around um, I border everything usually in a Stabilo or a black or something um, I think I find it helps ground me so that I can sit back and look and then it gives it another dimension or another focus point I suppose you could say And then creating the body this mermaid I really wanted it to be free um, music for a lot of people is, is a freeing device kind of like art therapy is for me where it just um, frees your mind for a little while so I guess that's why I wanted this this figure bit out of the Jane Davenport series um, it is supposed to be a mermaid swimming type image but to me it, it just looked like someone that was just free just letting their soul go um, so that's what I've done so I've just added some um, gesso this there um, for the for the dress because the blue was out of place adding it to the face and then to the body I do really muck this up later on so and now I'm not sure what happened to that filming I just used the um, Dina Wakely cheddar in those little squirty bottles and did the hair um, you'll find it disappears later on again I looked back and I went I need more black so I'm outlining this figure in black um, just Matisse black and gesso just giving it the border Again, going around with my stibolo, adding some extra dimension. It's colouring in between those hair bits because it's actually quite raised. And then I needed, <laughs> felt like I needed some more um, of the cheddar colour. Um, it wasn't balanced enough for me. So then I've just put it down and then rubbing some of it back with the wipes some parts I rubbed back really harshly and other parts I didn't um, so it come up really really nice I really like that part of that stencil or the page sorry then I'm just stamping again um, using some more layers I said the full product list would be in below so just have a look there more gesso
and then now I'm fixing this hair. I really didn't like it. It was not working for me at all. So I end up just covering it with white. And then adding that cheddar to the bodice of the dress just to add through add that cheddar back into this side to balance the layout a little bit more now what I'm doing here is actually I've got um, the color philosophies it's in a color called foggy nights it's a dye ink and I've actually got my Liquitex flexible modeling paste there and I've actually mixed the two together so it comes out as a subtle gray looking modeling paste um, instead of the white I mean it could have just I could have just stenciled the white on and then added the um, ink over the top but I find this works really well um, and it's a bit more muted in the tonings and then you're not going to risk smudging it anywhere else as well which is kind of helpful for me because I'm pretty messy okay this part's going to go really fast because I really wrecked this face I thought I'll add some details with my intense pencils and then I ruined it so then I found another one of those Little Mermaids and I cut her head out and stuck her head back over. And look at that, it's fixed. You, at the end you never even notice that she's actually got two heads. And then adding some white, uh, black there just to give that hair a bit more of a definition. I did add a little bit of colour to her face, I just thought she was a bit white, if that makes sense. And then this next bit I'm just going to add the quote, so I won't bore you with that, I will skip through it. And then just going around this little quote it's just a few different sayings that I found um, in a few different Tim Holtz sticker sheets and I've just cut and pasted them together to make out a little saying about what music sort of means to me um, and what it helps me with so again just going re redoing the border with the stabilo And looking back at the video now, I think, you know, it, it is probably done right about now. Like after I've done this black um, edging. Everything stands out. It looks pretty good. But then what happened was I let it dry. I stood back and I took a photo. And I went to crop the photo on my phone to send it to my partner because it's just what I do. I just send him when I finish stuff. And when I cropped it, I went, no, it needs more black. So in a second you'll see the final product which has a lot more black on it. Now I don't know whether it did or whether it didn't. I should have maybe stopped way before then. But overall I'm still really happy. So here's some close-ups for you. You can see the lot of layers poking through. So there we go. So don't forget to go and visit Art and Soul Studio com.au have some awesome products visit soul sisters on facebook as well um, join the group and have a go at the challenge you can win 50 dollars voucher so it's really cool so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe thank you